do it extremely well. It just it takes a lot of hard work. Okay. And there will be a, quite a few of those high level enemies later on in the game. Higher level will ensure that you survive better, but it's really about how well you play the game. Neutralize the enemy's main fortress. Well done. I taught you all I need to do. Can you guys hear me? I don't know. I just assumed you guys could hear me this whole time. Huh. For what purpose, for what sake, do men raise their weapon against one another? At the military academy, Gandalf Empire. Qu Quiltania stood among officer that had lined up. As the booming voice of their instructor, General Garadot, answered. I would be taking command. Okay. Okay, we just got our ex uh, another character. Reset. Another infantry. See if we can change the unit type. Keep it as infantry for now. Let's make him a uh, proper uh, cavalry. Change my unit type to uh, Change mine to night. Sorty. Sorty. Oh, let's look up the shop while we're here. I've already bought everything, but I want to still look up the shop. To show you get showed off you guys. Welcome to my store. We've got the armor <laughs> shop where you buy all the customizable armor. bought every single thing. And 
item. I was gonna click the weapon shop, but the item shop I should go ahead and show off. I'd rather show this off last, but okay. Welcome. Yeah. looking for anything in particular? It's clear what her character design was based on. And another reason why I wanted to show her last so we can get the chip. Because the other two, they are severely covered up compared to her. And holy shit, she needs to put some clothes on. But anyway, she's the item shop. She's not for customizable weapons or stuff. Customizable stuff, more like... Extras, your weapon demo, your. This is where you get your other jobs from. Your uh, other. for character creation. You know, like if you want to be a gladiator, pirate, sage, so on. Anyway, and then we're gonna see weapon Hi. shop. Good speed to you. Please come again. Yes! That did just happen. You weren't seeing things. Every time you decide to leave her shop, Hi there. her chest bounces like it's gonna fly you off her body. For this is where you buy all the weapons. Okay. Yeah, you know it's only five lists. That's because obvious certain weapons have been paired up with each other. Like we've got some of Mitsurugi's weapons working alongside of Cervantes and alongside Raphael's and so on. Yeah, I don't know why the list is like this because this entire dagger list is the daggers for uh, Taki and the daggers for the assassin here. Yeah, really stupid short list. At least with the axe, it makes a bit more sense because you're not only covering you know, Astaroth and Rock, you're also covering uh, Siegfried and uh, Nightmare because we've got the Flamebird, we've got the Clan, as well as the Barbarian costume and uh, what was the other one? I can't remember. There was another one that used axes, I can't remember what the class was. Of course, Mac, I mean, the nunchucks just cover Maxi and the monk's weapons. And the, this strange fist weapon, that just covers the fancy weapon, like chains and stuff. You looking for something? Give the shot. Okay, let me show you guys what I mean. Watch. Can we leave? Thanks Nothing happens lot. to her at all. Welcome to my store. Can I help you find something? Huh. That's annoying. Got a piece of food right at the back of my mouth. Anyway. But watch. We'll switch over to item shop. Farewell, no luck. bounce either. Please come again. But we'll leave item shop. And again, as I said, they fly no. around. I look good seed to you. Please come again. Looking for something? Finally got it. Now I'm done. Come again. Thanks a lot. Okay, there was a slight jump there, but nothing ridiculous, okay? Nothing like it's gonna fly off, watch out! Oh, our 
first wave sword even or not. Cut through defense or I mean cut through enemies defense, but also has poor defense. High defense. Changeable style. I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, because Gatekeeper gives us nothing. That's the thing. Gatekeeper's the base weapon. No defense at all, but increased health. I'll go with this one. What is it, little girl? Where are you going? Are you going to block the TV on me, girl? Careful. Careful. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. See? All the character slots you unlocked in uh, normal character customization are available for you to use in this mode. So you either like build yourself an army of characters, so you completely ignore the entire cast of this game. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want. Show them what we're made of. All right, let's kick her ass. I'm just gonna take the fences real quick to show you something. Now you'll notice force is finally invading us. Here's the cool thing. Faster. Shit, we're gonna lose this thing as soon as I get in it. Yep. Fuck. Never mind. But anyway, what I was gonna show you is as soon as they attack you, you can click on this and go straight to battle. And also, you can fortify if you want. No one's in this one anyway, so I can go and take this real quick. Decisive battle. Fighters face a gruesome quest to search for the ultimate sword. Oh, nice, it's awesome, Mel's place. I'm itching for a fight. Battle one, fight. Bring up. You deserve. Yeah, I was doing the evil laugh pose. Nice. Final battle, fight! That was horrible. Much better. You should have said so if you're so weak. Ah! Ah! 
Reclaimed it. Also, you notice my character is now wounded. Here's the thing. I can hide in the castle and regenerate my health. See? This is really the only way you can regain your health because it will not happen in the field. If you fight someone in the field, you are stuck with whatever life you had at the start. Previous battle, or whatever. Also, watch about, watch out about this. Noticed I didn't have her sit in the thing. I was planning to have her sit in the castle, but notice it did, and it just moved her right out of it. So be careful where you tell your character to move, especially if no one's actually in the opposing castle you're invading, because they'll immediately move out of said castle after conquering. Decisive battle. Oh. <laughs> Entrust your noble soul in your soul. This is going to be great. I prefer not to do this. But we have no choice. Final battle. Fight! <laughs> Be here a while. Decisive battle. Okay, here we go. Good luck to you. Fight with all your might as I will. I love that we do have cutscenes in this game. Yeah, you guys thought it was just dialogue, didn't you? You should have said so if you're so 
so weak. Chronicle. Yeah, there was extra assignments. Great. Getting the perfect. I might just knock it down to two and to four o'clock because I'm getting tired and this. I'm half worried the game video will start crashing again. I don't know why it did it. It just did. So I'm going to play until 4. Final test. Test command abilities and the battle conditions. It's the last time I get to play with you little birds. That's right. This is your final test. Don't expect me to go easy on you. The general is to be her. I mean, a general is to be her opponent. Depending, her, depending on her performance, Quill Tanya might even be entrusted with troops to lead. If she fails, she will never see battle. So you get my characters into place. Finally meet under the star of destiny. Let's settle this. You just don't give up, do you? Nice, look at this, level seven against my level one. That's what I mean by them having a higher level, but you can still possibly win. So I can stop being killed. That's okay. So you still gain experience for it.
And... Give me a moment, my character will resurrect. Trust your noble soul in your sword. You wanna die that badly? Oh, my food doesn't fall right there. I shall give you a proper burial. Final battle, fight! <laughs> Why not let me resurrect my character? A certain amount of time meant to pass before I can actually see their life? There it goes, tell just Let's give him another ring, another battle, another chance. If he dies, he at least gains some experience out of it. The Almighty Ones have granted you a sword to cut your own path. Let's settle this! Yet another who wants to die. Yep. Battle one, fight! He's trying to ring me out is what he's trying to do. Much I'll better. Take you on any time you want. <laughs> Nothing in there, so I'll go ahead and take that. Wait for these places to repair themselves. Mm. Food. out. I'm gonna get some white slip. Whoa! Really lost my stuff. Nice. Oh. 
not bad, but it won't be easy to get rid of me. Decisive battle. Me. <sighs> You are strong. One day, you will succeed in life. Of course, only if you manage to defeat me. <laughs> Round one, fight. Kind of annoying that he's not the last character. Because it just means I have to go through more cutscenes about it anyway. Crap, he's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! I figured he was! Damn. I still got experience out of it. It just means more experience than my other characters, finally. Alright, let's settle this. Battle 2. Fight! Or he's gonna flat out roll them to death! Yeah, that didn't get a single attack in. What? I can't believe this. It's fine. This is a good way to start to grinding level experience. And by that, I'm going to keep wandering Let's over here this. and just die. Battle 3. Fight. Go ahead, kill me. Kill me. I can't believe this! Now, if I remember correctly, I should be respawned back in the main place. Or I get a game over because I lost everyone, I'm not sure. Here we go! Yep, you automatically lose if you lose everyone. Shit. I didn't know. I wanted to be sure, okay? I got some money out of it. I was wondering why that, that character looked unfamiliar. Yeah, why not? Let's push it further, see how far I can go with this. That's as far as it lets me go. Okay. I had to be sure. So I'm actually just send you there anyway. Okay. Alright, let's finish the battle. Now, if I'm able to save after this before the next cutscene, then I'll do these in the background. I'll figure out some way to do these, uh, like, say, right after, uh, right during the ending day. Decisive battle and then show you guys the next level next week or so on. You get what I'm saying, right? At least I'm hoping that'll be the plan. If I can, in fact, save before the next cutscene. Entrust your nobles. You're in my way! I will never yield to the likes of battle. One, fight! <laughs>
That was bullshit, I know I hit him. Damn. Oh well. At least I got some experience out of it. No good. Please get out of my battle two. Fight! <laughs> Nice! Finally got him! I knew it'd take level 3 to beat him. It looks like I'm just too strong for you. Nice. Melted together. There! Broken for it. Not bad. That was more than enough to pass. Clearly! If a cutscene does start up right after this, then it's perfect for my idea. If not, then I don't know what to do. Cool. That's good enough for me, guys. That'll be my end of the day. Next time around, I'll let you guys see the cutscene start, I mean the starting cutscene and the battle cutscene, but any in between where I've got to do training or I start losing, I'll be skipping those. Just to ensure that you guys get a good flow from A to B and no extra letters. Anyway, but yeah. Apparently when I turn off the game station, this plugin seems to just freeze the screen at the last picture. So just enjoy that. That's our next chapter. Overall, I do remember, I do enjoy this. I still do. And I still enjoy Mortal Kombat Deception. Both very fun games. And I hope to see more of them in two weeks. Remember, I told you. I'm not going by weekly schedules no more because I don't want to burn myself out. And in case things will go horribly wrong with the game at the T computer again if things go wrong again so know this next week you will be getting these same playthroughs on youtube okay and the week after we will be back to the twitch games okay that's simple